Hello dear friends and welcome to the channel Pharma is Simplified. In this video we are going to talk about plant extract and extraction technique. So if you are a beginner and you are not aware about what is extract and you want to know about what is the principle behind extraction and how to prepare extract then this video is for you. So let's start. Extract. What is mean by extract? Whenever we are using crude drug, the preparation of extract becomes very much necessary. So extract is a group or a bulk of chemical constituent with the desirable properties which are removed from the plant or animal tissue or mineral material usually by treating it with a specific solvent. So in this definition, the four important points extract is a bulk of chemical constituent and which are having a desirable properties as well as they are mainly present in the tissues and later on they are removed from those tissues by using a specific solvent. Later on these extracts are used for various purposes. The history of extraction is as old as the history of mankind. Since the ancient time, man discovered several medicines in order to treat several diseases. Later on, they also discovered the several methods of extraction of the active constituent from these particular medicines. However, the ancient extract which were prepared were mainly of aqueous as well as alcoholic solvent and they are very primitive. For example, preparation of tea or we can say the preparation of wine is example of aqueous extraction and alcoholic fermentation. The ancient extract, the procedures which were used as well as tools or materials and heating methods were very simple and primitive. In the modern era, the use of medicines or the modern medicine is increasing. Customer demands are also increasing. Hence, it also leads to the advancements in the extraction methods. However, due to these advancement in the extraction method, the new medicinal properties are also being discovered of the several chemical constituents, which leads to the demand of active molecules in the plant is going to higher and higher. So, which is eventually fulfilled by the extraction or the synthesis. So extraction becomes very much necessary in order to fulfill the demands of active molecules which are obtained from the plants or animals or even though the mineral material. So what is principle of extraction? So principle of extraction is based on law of thermodynamics. More accurately, it is based on law of mass transfer. Consider this is a solid object. This particular solid object is a homogeneous mixture which is in equilibrium with its constituents. When this particular solid object exposed to some solvent or we can say a fluid in as disturbance, this particular equilibrium get disturbed. The solvent is acting as a disturbing agent to this equilibrium. So this solid solvent system will tend to achieve another equilibrium by mass transfer. So these are the active constant which get transferred from the solid object to the solvent in order to achieve the equilibrium. However, we can see here there are few constituents are still present in the solid object. So how exactly we can achieve a thorough extraction? So whenever you are exposing this solid object to the fresh or the new solvent, this particular solid solvent equilibrium is going to get shifted and maximum constituent will get extracted from the solid object. So this is the secret behind or we can say the theory behind the extraction. If we need a thorough extraction, we must extract a solid object multiple times with a fresher solvent. 
Hence, we can achieve a thorough extraction. How to prepare an extract? Whenever we are aiming for the preparation of extract, we are considering some active chemical constituents. Our aim is to bring these active chemical constituents out of the plant or the animal tissue. For that purpose, we are going to use certain solvent and eventually we are going to combine this solvent and the solid object or we can say the plant or animal material in certain extraction technique and which eventually gives us the active constituent and left behind the extracted or exhausted material. In this particular procedure, we must keep in mind that the solubility of the active constituent as well as the properties, physical and chemical properties of the active constituent. Depending upon that, the choice of solvent is going to vary. If the constituents are soluble in a water, you are going to prefer water as an extraction solvent. If the constituents are soluble in an organic solvent, you are going to use organic solvent as well. Also, it depends upon the polarity of the constituent. So, for each and every constituent, we are going to try with the different different extraction solvent. So, depending upon the physical and chemical properties of the active constituent, the choice of the solvent is going to vary. So, this is the most important fact of extraction technique. There are several methods of extraction which are enlisted in this video. However, I am going to prepare a separate video for all these extraction techniques because covering all these extraction techniques is very difficult in this video. The next part which is very much important for any extraction technique is separation or purification of that extract. There are several techniques for the purification of extract. First of all, atomization. Atomization mainly involves the evaporation of the extraction solvent and which leaves behind the solid particles. In the atomization, the extract is sprayed in a solid column or the hollow column in which the air is blowed. So that air is going to evaporate the solvent and which left behind the solid object and they are deposited in that column. This is called as atomization. Crystallization. Depending upon the solubility of the extracted constituent, crystallization, whenever they are having ability to get crystallized, this particular method is being employed in order to get the crystals of pure compound. Precipitation. This is the another method in which we are going to reduce the solubility of the desired constituent and get them precipitated out from that extract. Concentration. Whenever the huge amount of solvent is being used in the preparation of extract, at the end, if we need the concentrated mass, the solvent must be evaporated and in order to get the concentrated extract. Rectification as well as centrifugation. Rectification this mainly used in case of liquids which are having significant difference in the boiling point. However, centrifugation this technique is used in a case of solids and liquids which are having significant difference in the densities. So these are the various purification technique depending upon the criteria, depending upon the need one can follow these various purification techniques. So, in the conclusion, the plant extract or plant extraction is based on the mass transfer as per the law of thermodynamics. Extract is either solid, semi-solid or a liquid. However, purification is necessary after extraction and the simplest definition of extraction we can call it as a operation of the separation of one or several constituent present in the solid object by solubilization in a fluid. So this is all about extraction and how to prepare extract. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel and thank you very much for